so while a lot of people were learning them Fortnite dance moves, this guy was dressed up as Richthofen, and for real, this guy is a serious MVP in my book, because he can easily learn them Fortnite moves, but he said, not today though, and today we're gonna be ranking every single specialist from worst to best in Black Ops 4 Zombies, all of them are unique as shit, they got special abilities, they delete zombies left, right, front and center, but some of them are extra good, and therefore we're gonna be ranking every single one of them in this video and let's just get right into the video if somehow you happen to be new on the channel feel free to subscribe we're gonna be on top of black ops 4 and hey i got no one else but to thank you for this upcoming milestone we're pretty darn close to 100k and i just want to let you guys know that you are pretty darn cool but coming in at over number eight spot now i so wanted to have the scepter of raw on here but there is one thing that the scepter of raw does and therefore i changed my mind and hey at our number eight spot we're talking about the flamethrower now each and every single specialist is gonna have three different stages and this one is basically an exclusive specialist to the ether storyline where you cannot use this on ix and voyage and you're also not gonna be able to use this specialist weapon on future chaos story maps but this one is a legitimate flamethrower and i'm so glad that they brought this thing back i saw this thing in the trailer before launch and i was like this is it but apparently this one is at our number eight spot and it is a pretty cool specialist but when you look at this specialist and you compare with some of the other specialists that i'll have on the list it doesn't cross that victory line in my opinion but stage one is a simple flamethrower you can burn zombies and it takes pretty long before they actually die i mean they added that realism factor which i like for sure but it just take a lot longer before they get deleted but stage two it's a blast wind and it's kind of like a mini thunder gun it just shoots them and it kind of pushes them away bob absolutely love it he's like yo this is by far the best one but bob is bob so we cannot just take whatever he's throwing at us you know what i mean but uh it's a mini thunder gun pretty darn cool sometimes it is cool let's say you got a whole horde of zombies you just want to push them away you know you can do that stage three though it's a fire tornado and i absolutely love this thing it's like you press l1 and r1 at the same time it depends on what control type you got it might be l2 and r2 for you but that's just gonna be stage three and you can absolutely call in that fire tornado but it comes at our number eight spot now at our number seven we got the scepter of raw now a lot of people would put it really really higher on the list but i gotta be real this really doesn't do jack shit in terms of killing or deleting zombies now hear me out, level 1, you can shoot it and melee with it, it's just a simple one. It is pretty darn cool though, reminds me of the origin staff. But when you use it though, it is pretty darn slow for deleting zombies and therefore it is at our number 7 spot. Stage 2, it's more of the same but you take less damage from special zombies I believe. Uh, you take less damage from the fire zombie, the water zombie, there are just billion amount of zombie types. I hope that Treyak nerf them and make them spawn less, you know I was playing Voyage of Despair and they spawn less like a mother trucker in this game but level three you can plant it on the ground and it creates that bubble and if you stay inside well every single zombie who will come inside will die but first of all this thing will slow it down and it takes just forever and they can even hit you and hear me out scepter of raw is super darn slow when i was on stage one i decided to actually stick around in the corner number one it didn't even work maybe my controller is bad and it just didn't work but even when it worked i was slowing the zombie is down but they can still hit me i mean it's whatever but when you're using a specialist weapon and you're using it and you go down by them zombies while you're using it it's a no bueno in my opinion but the only reason it comes at our number seven spot and not at my number eight spot is because when you shoot this thing to a down player he will get back up that's what i heard i never tried it though but it says it got healing powers but i heard that it actually revived people and therefore it is at our number seven spot at our number six i am talking about the Viper and Dragon and this one looks really really sick in my opinion when I first saw that in the trailer when Scarlet was using this thing I was like damn and I believe Bruno was also using it in the IX trailer but when I first saw that in the trailer I was like this is probably gonna be the best thing ever and at first I thought this is gonna be a wonder weapon but it is a specialist wonder weapon I would say and level one you have no 
normal abilities, it's basically the same. You shoot it, train go boom, you delete some zombies. But it doesn't really have a lot of range, so that's why it is at our number 6. But stage 2, your dragon gets explosive rounds. And stage 3, you shoot 3 shots in a row. But at the same time, it's not really that effective against zombies when we're looking at other specialists on the list as well. And your sword can now shoot that green thing and kill zombies as well, which is aesthetically really, really cool. It is just a cool as specialist weapon. It is in the chaos story. Nothing more, nothing less, and therefore it comes at our number 6 spot. But at our number 5, I am talking about the Chakrams of Vengeance, one of the coolest looking special weapon to this day in Call of Duty Zombies. I absolutely love it though. Aesthetically, it is pleasing as shit. This is the definition of train really going boom. And stage 1, you get the normal melee attack and you can also throw your left Chakram, which is really cool, and you melee real fast, and you melee fast as a mother trucker, and I believe in the trailer, Diego was grinning while he was using that, so I know why Treyarch made this, but once you get to stage 2 with this, you get a movement buff, and you can now walk and run faster, which is pretty darn cool. Stage 3, you get a purple storm, and now you can insta-kill a lot of normal zombies, but boss zombies will take some time to die for sure, and Blightfather will surely take a lot of time, because that guy is a big, big guy. But seriously though, Chakram of Vengeance is a lot of fun, by far one of the best looking specialists, and it is by far the second best specialist weapon in uh, the Chaos storyline, and you'll know what I mean in just a little bit, but at our number 4 spot, I am talking about the Onslaught Death Machine, stage 1, it's a normal death machine, you know, pretty pretty standard procedure type of thing, you get it, you start killing zombies, normally this used to be a power up that we would get back in those days, right, and in Black Ops 1 you get it, and you cannot even put it aside, in Black Ops 3 though, we had the normal death machine, once we get it, we can press triangle, and we will put it away, but now it is apparently a special weapon in the Aether storyline for Black Ops 4 zombies, but stage 2, once you level this thing up, you get a grenade launcher, which is pretty darn cool, you can destroy zombies, and that's why it is at our number 4 spot, but level 3 though, if you really wanna go for high rounds, this is the shit, because level 3 will give you tactical nuke, and that will just clear up the whole horde of zombies, I would say this one is like a mini tactical nuke, it's not really like a full blown power up kinda nuke, if you know what I mean right, and this specialist is by far the most effective for high rounds, and also this one is really cool for ranking up in Black Ops 4 zombies, but you just wanna stay away from tactical nuke because you won't really get XP for that. But seriously though, I haven't really tested this, so I'm kinda speaking out of my ass right here. But at our number 3, we're talking about the Ragnarok DG5. I guess we all know what this is. If you played Black Ops 3, you know that stage 1 is the normal slams, just like Black Ops 3, but it's the upgraded version. It feels a little bit different from Black Ops 3, and rightfully so, it's called the DG5. It's the next version, and stage 2, you can now go ahead and electrocute zombies and insta-kill zombies if you go near them, which is pretty darn cool, pretty, pretty effective. You can run and move pretty fast with this thing as well, so in that regard, stage 2 is a lot of fun. Stage 3, in my opinion, is not a lot of fun, but it is a pretty good ability because you can now plant it on the ground and you don't have to worry about picking up either after you're done with it, right? Because once you plant it on the ground, once your specialist is uh, completely, completely wore down and it's completely ran out, you will have it in your inventory and you can start killing zombies and it will recharge up. So you don't have to go around worry about picking it up once it ran out. It comes at our number three spot. Now at our number two spot, this one was a hard decision because I am talking about Path of Soros, aka the Takios Katana. I wanted to have at my number one spot, but after doing big amount of calculations, doing this and that, there is only one thing that made me put it at number two. I'll talk about it, but I'm pretty darn sure some of you will not agree with that. But if you agree, just uh, drop a one in the comments. If you do not agree, drop a two and you can let me know your reasoning. It's not a felony, you can disagree with me and it's totally all good. But I am talking about the Path of Sorrow stage 1 though, it is just simply slashing zombies. Stage 2, you get Merciless Dash and now you go so fast, you pretty much destroy everything in your path. This one is great not just for killing zombies, but for also moving and going around the map. Let's say you got a buddy named Bob who is down on the floor, got a ray gun and is like, revive me, I got a ray gun. Well, you can pull out your Path of Sorrows, do a little thing with it and you can go 
ahead and do a merciless dash and you can speed with this bad boy and now you can go ahead and revive your friend named Bob and this one is by far one of the best one I mean it is at our number two spot that tells you what's up but stage three though gives you that invisibility clock now this is the ability that made me put at our number two spot because normally whenever you're gonna use the specialist weapons your goal is to delete zombies fast as possible not that you want to send them away from your ride because once you go in the invisibility mode they will just go somewhere else and you're not gonna be able to kill them efficiently right so what's really the point the other side of the argument is that hey if you're doing the easter egg steps this one is cool though because you can go in the invisibility mode and you can do whatever you need to do and in that regards this is by far one of the best thing but specialist wise it's meant for killing zombies not for sending them away and that's why it is at our number two spot but number two is still very very good at our number one spot i am talking about hammer of valhalla it is exclusive to the chaos story by far one of the best specials i mean it is the best specialist it is at our number one spot stage one you hammer zombies pretty pretty fast stage two you can now slam this thing on the ground and that will bring the lightning clouds i mean they will summon zombies they will delete zombies it is really a sight to see and stage three though you send lightning bolts and now you can destroy the whole horde of zombies i mean this one is by far hands down the best stage ability that this specialist weapon got i mean this specialist weapon as a whole is really cool it's a living legend and hey bob approves it and i guess you should too but let me know your order and list in the comments below and let me know what is your favorite specialist and why i gotta go with the chakram and wiper and dragon because they look really really good and hammer of valhalla is by far one of the best but that doesn't mean the rest of them aren't every single one of them is a really really cool specialist but check out some other videos on the screen like and and subscribe if you are new to the channel pretty darn close to 100k and every little bit helps and i will see you in the next one